Well, we're at the airport, getting ready to head for Chicago. I'm so sick and tired of traveling. I used to think I'd want to travel all the time, and once you start doing it, it's it's no fun. I'm getting packed and then unpacked and packed and unpacked. You need double set of everything so you don't have to go along with that. It's the little things in life. When they work. <laughs> and we're waiting. Waiting to board. It's very, very quiet here today. I like it like that. <clears throat> Well, it's the end of the day. We made it to Chicago. Um, the good far way out, weighed out the bad. Um, I just got through taking my shower and this is what my hair looks like when it dries naturally. <laughs> it's time for another haircut. I'm trying to let these links grow out longer before I start trimming these so it'll all grow out how I want it, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but um, today is an interesting day, and I'll show pictures somewhere in here of some of like Chicago and um, all the things, you know, just pictures of this and that. Um, everything went well. We got to the airport really on time, <laughs> and we weren't rushed, and it was really quiet. And um, going through the security, they told me that I just could get up and walk through and push my car through, or my scooter through. My scooter is working, and it worked all the way here. And, um, and I said, what? <laughs> I said, you know, like two weeks ago when we went through here, through Oregon, I mean, I was... Uh, going back and forth with the lady and the gentleman that worked there because I said that's not a rule that's never been allowed and all this and I said I, they've always let me if I was capable of standing up and walking through the deal they would let me do it and that's a lot easier than having to be patted down I mean even if you you're sitting down and being patted down you still have to hold your arms out for a long extended period of time and you know lean forward and lean back and it's physically demanding and they wouldn't listen to me and and they made me stand they wouldn't even let me sit and it just made that flight out to Oregon horrible um, but so I mean she went through and she they let me walk through and I mean we were through with it through the whole thing and like less than a minute and um but then she's talking to me about her scooter about my scooter and she said she's been trying to get her husband to get one and her husband has is an amputee and only has one leg and I told Wayne that's where the difference is if she understands disability and you know what a person can physically take and everything and she's so kind and everything and just got us in and out of there our plane flight was good, it wasn't crowded, and it was only, you know, a two-hour flight, and so that makes it a lot more bearable. And when we got here, you know, our luggage was ready, and my scooter was working, <laughs> and everything, so that was wonderful. And we went from, like, in Oklahoma, it was in the 60s, to up here, it's 20 degrees when we got here, and the wind chill was 16 and ugh, it's just cold thinking about it and so we I bundled up and we went out because you have to stand in a line for the taxis to pull around and just know from experience you know you're going to be freezing and we get out there and there was only like one person in front of us I don't know what it was with the airports today I mean the Chicago O'Hare hardly anybody and um so we get there, and first this one little cab pulled up, and I told Wayne, I said, I really don't think our stuff's all going to fit in there, because, you know, we got a scooter, 
and my bag and his bag and a nut, you know, uh, like a bathroom kind of bag. And so he goes, no, we can fit. And so they get me in there, and then of course nothing would fit. So they took, just got me back out. And then the next cab driver pulled up in a van, and he refused to take us. And I'm sitting here not realizing what's going on. I just see Dwayne getting very upset, and I hear the lady that is directing the taxis. She's yelling. And then I hear the taxi driver from that, ta that taxi man yelling, and he starts grabbing this guy's luggage that was actually walking past him to get, like we were in taxi like number one, and he's going back to like the number three spot to get in a taxi, and he started grabbing his stuff and threw it in the van, and he goes, I'm not taking her, and he's saying he's not taking me because I was handicapped. He wasn't going to take me, plain and simple. Dwayne very mad, lady very mad, poor third guy that got thrown in the middle of it was getting yelled at by the lady, and he's going, I'm not giving him my luggage, he's going, don't put your luggage in there, that's not your cab, and he's going, I'm not giving it to him, he's just taking it, and finally he got his stuff back from that guy, and um, she made the guy pull forward, and then she wasn't giving him any passengers, and then they gave us an Ember call in to make complaints, and I mean, Cascada is 20 degrees, 16 windshield factor. I'm sitting out there not well. You know, just a bad situation. And so, you know, we try to call that number. And of course you call and they say call back later. Or you, get, you get recordings. You don't get a person. And then finally we got one that said, leave your name and number and we'll call you back. And we haven't heard anything. But the taxi driver we did get... Um, nicest, nicest man we've probably have ever met here in Chicago, and um, coming down this way, he showed us certain restaurants. Oh, you need to eat at this one. You need to eat at that one, and you know he he was just nice, and he drove nice and gentle. I wasn't thrown all over the taxi, and somehow. Our cab fare is about half of what it normally is, but you know he saw everything that was going on too, and he <laughs> when we were pulling away from the curb at the airport, he pulled up next to that taxi cab driver, and he honking his horn trying to get that taxi man, that other man's attention. That man just would not look at him; just kept on looking forward because he was going to say something to him. But we you know we made it to our hotel safe and sound, and we did go eat at um, an Armenian restaurant that he recommended, um, and it was delicious food. And I got a picture of our is the appetizer, and we got hummus tabbouleh and jerjik, jerjik or something like that. But it's that cucumber yogurt sauce stuff, and you know it comes with the pita bread. So we're glad to be here, glad in, to be in the room. Um, it's kind of hard being in this bathroom because this is the bathroom where I had to do all the peroxide on my face and same room, same bathroom and I walked in here and it was just like flashbacks and um, kind of made me sick of my stomach. So it's just how funny how things work out. But we're here, glad, glad we made it safely. Um, I guess I need to be thankful that I am here and getting ready to get some good medical attention. And I think that's all I have to say for right now. So I'll see you guys in the next video.